Hello, this video is meant for all educators. Have you ever been frustrated by taking attendance? You would rather be teaching and not taking attendance. I've developed a simple way to take attendance using a barcode scanner. In the description below, you will see a link to all of the resources for free. All you'll need to purchase is a barcode scanner, or you may even have one of those. You can go to an office supply store. In the link below, you'll see a description to some inexpensive barcode scanners. Please share this video with any of your teaching colleagues at your institutions, as it may help them as well. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. Thank you so much. When the student scans his or her barcode, the student's name appears. It also shows the date and the time. I'm creating this video late at night, so 10.04 p.m. is right now. At the beginning, before the, the student's last name, is the course code, CC standing for Concert Choir. You create this code and it can be whatever you want. So I'll go down here to the Concert Choir tab. As long as this name matches exactly what comes up on the barcode line here, it will show a 1 for the date. Now up here you're probably wondering what these numbers are. I generally have those hidden, but I want to show you how you can customize this for your own needs. Let's say this class meets Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You would just change this to add on one day. For example, Monday plus one is Tuesday. Okay, if I add on another one, it goes to Wednesday. Now a Thursday, now I want to start on Monday again. That's four days. All of a sudden we go back. So now I can copy and paste this pattern and it automatically will give me a Monday through Thursday schedule for the rest of the year as long as you like. Here at the end we've got a subtotal of the days present. If you need to excuse a student, let's say on the April 4th, a student has something that will prevent them from coming to rehearsal, it will show up here. And I usually only do that if they've done a makeup assignment, and so it shows up here as a two. Once again, CC. Now, let's say in women's chorus, Clara Schumann, one of the students, as soon as her barcode is selected, a new date and time will show up, 10.07 on March 25th, and there she is, she's present. So you can add as many as you'd like into this column. If you need more rows, if you have a larger choir than I might have, just copy and paste the formula down as many times as you like, and it will automatically show up over here and total things up for you. Now you're wondering how do you make these barcodes? Over here, this is in the last tab, Barcode Creator. I put the course code. This is Concert Choir, Chamber Singers, or Women's Chorus. If you want to, let's say you teach math and you might want to see, uh, say, period one, you could just put a one. And it automatically will change the beginning of that. Let's say I'll add in another chamber singer student, Smith John. Here the barcode is created and John Smith over here, this is what I would copy into the roster on each of these days or each of these courses. The barcode is actually a font, and the font is called, if you look here, it's Libra Barcode 39 Text. If you don't have that font, you go to More Fonts, and all you have to do is search Libra 
barcode and I've already got it so it's showing up selected but if you don't just go ahead and check that one I don't need these anymore but I check this because I like the text to show up underneath the barcode if you don't want the text to show up under your barcode you would do this Libra barcode 39 okay now if we Let's say you want to hand a sheet to your student with this barcode on it. Okay, in the, in the shared folder you will find something called a student barcode and information sheet or info sheet merge. Okay, I've created this as a template okay, that I hand out to my students and it will show the barcode once their name appears here. Very large so it's easy for them to scan. The way that you merge to this document is using an add-on, a Google Sheet add-on called Autocrat. If you don't have Autocrat, you go to Get Add-ons and just search Autocrat. And there it is. Now mine says Manage. That's how you can remove it, by the way. But if you want it, you would just click the button that says free. This would show free. Okay. Once you have Autocrat loaded, you want to hit launch. We're going to go ahead and create a new job so that you can see how to do this step by step. We'll call this student barcode sheet. Next, okay, we have created the template already, so we're going to find from drive. Okay, it's right here. It should show up at the top because you're pulling from the same folder to create this. So select, okay, it shows up now as the, the template you're going to use. Click next. Okay, now here you want to make sure that you've selected the tab that you're pulling from, which is barcode creator. Now make sure that first name matches first name, last name, last name, course, course, and then barcode. This is what your file will be labeled. So you're going to create multiple PDFs that you would hand out to each student on the first day of class so that they can keep it with them when they walk into class to scan. To personalize this, you can put these caret symbols. You put two of them and put last name. I'm matching exactly what's here on these files. Last name. First name. Barcode. Attendance sheet. Now it will show up, the actual file will show up as Beethoven Ludwig barcode attendance sheet. I like to create them as a PDF just because it makes it easier for me to print them. Probably a single output mode and you want to add page breaks because that will make it all one document. It'll be much easier to print this way so you don't have to print each separate page. So add page breaks between data rows, yes. Okay, now you can choose a folder where you want these to be saved, but for now I'm just gonna have it save in my open Google Drive folder and then I can move them all later. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. You don't need to do that either. That's if you were to, you can use this for Google Forms. If it populates, you can create merge but we're just going to move forward. Go ahead and click no. We're not going to share this. We're not going to run from a trigger. You're going to choose yourself. So when to run it. So we're going to go ahead and click save. All right, let's scroll to the bottom. Here we go. Student barcode sheet. When I click play or run job right now, it is creating for all of the people I haven't created a sheet. Now when we go back 
to Google Drive. It will show up as a recent folder. And here we go. Code Beethoven is in concert choir. Here is his barcode. These are important things about the semester. You can do anything you want for your course. These are the, the concert dates. And there's Mozart's. There's Schumann's. And John Smith. And then these are all blank because uh, I just had blank lines there. You can delete those lines, by the way, so that it only prints what you want. I hope this is helpful. Please see the description below where I will have some helpful tips or a way to contact me if you need assistance. Thank you. Enjoy.